right now. Let me show you how you can style this beautiful login form using SAS file. So as you know, in the previous lecture, we added the font family inside the SAS file. Let me just style this login form. Instead of adding all the code of the login form inside this file, I'm going to create a dedicated file for this login form so we can easily style and manage the styling of this application. Now, because we are using SAS, I can create a dedicated file for this login form as well. So I'm going to open my Explorer tab and here inside this source right here, I'm going to create a new folder with the name SAS and inside this SAS folder, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to name it login.scss. Now, because this is a partial file of this app.scss, I'm going to specify underscore as a prefix to this file. So whenever you work with SAS file, if the file is a partial file, you need to specify underscore before that file. So I'm going to specify the underscore before this file name and then I'm going to specify the file name login.scss. I'm going to create this file and inside this file, I'm going to specify styling to this login form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first open my app.js file and right here you can notice I have this division tag. Let me specify id to this div. If I specify here id login, then I can access all this div with this id. I'm going to just specify here id to this div, save this and back to my login.scss. Right here, I'm going to first add a comment and say login page styling. And just down here, I'm going to select the login id, this one. I'm going to select this and then inside it, I'm going to specify styling. So I'm going to first add minimum height to it. Minimum height is going to be 100 VH. VH means viewport height. The height of this login is going to be the height of this viewport. Just out of that, I'm going to specify here display flex, then specify justify content center, and then I'm going to specify align items center. Now, if you don't want to use all these CSS properties inside this SAS file, you can easily use Bootstrap as well. For example, let's say if you want to specify this display flex, you can just back to your app.js. So here you can just add a class name, the flex, and then you can specify here justify content center. But instead of specifying these classes, I'm going to choose my custom CSS styling. So I'm going to get rid of this class name and then I'm going to back to my login.scss. I'm going to first save this file and I'm going to back to the app.js, save this file as well, and back to the app.scss. And here I'm going to import the login.scss file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply add here a command and say import partial files. And just down here, I'm going to add import tag. And in the single quote right here, I'm going to specify dot forward slash. And then I'm going to specify the SAS folder. And then I'm going to specify my login.scss. So I just need to specify here login, the file name. Then I'm going to specify here colon. And when I save the changes, so this statement is going to center my login form. Just for that, to this login, I'm going to specify position, which is going to be relative. Now, what I'm going to do is, instead of specifying this position like this, I'm going to use SAS extension feature. Let me explain that feature first. So let's suppose you have two classes in your CSS, class one and class two. In both these classes, for example, let's say you have this position property. Now what you want, instead of creating two different classes for this same property, you can just simply add here a comma and then specify here class two. Now we don't need to add this class to specify the same property. This class will does the same job. So I'm going to do the same with using extend feature. So I'm going to get rid of these classes from here. And instead of this position, I'm going to just add this position property inside the SAS extend. So I'm going to create a new file for that. So inside this SAS folder here, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to click on this new file icon. Let me just close these unwanted files from here. And now I'm going to create a new file inside this SAS. And I'm going to name that file extends.scss. Now keep in mind, you need to specify underscore to this file as well, because this is going to be a partial file. So I'm going to specify here extends.scss. I'm going to create this file. And inside this file, I'm going to simply first add a comment and say extends class or you can just specify here extend. This is just a command. Inside this extend, I'm going to specify a class called position relative. And to this class, I'm going to specify position relative. And I'm going to use this class inside my login.scss. I'm going to save this file back to my login.scss. 
and right here instead of this position relative I can just use a SAS feature called extend so I'm going to add here at the rate extend and then I'm going to specify my class name which is position relative this class name right so now if you have this property to two different classes SAS is going to combine both those classes and specify that property to it so it will just save a few bytes from your compiled CSS just out of that I'm going to do the same for the text center as well so I'm going to back to the extend.scss and down here I'm going to say text center I'm going to use this class to center my text and I'm going to say here text align center now inside the bootstrap you also have text center whenever you want to center any text you can use a text center class in the bootstrap as well but you need to add that class inside your HTML I'm going to save this file and save this class back to my login.scss and here I'm going to add extend and then specify text center like this now I'm going to just specify this class name here this class to this login div just after that I'm going to save this file oops I think I misspelled something yeah when I save the changes I'm going to get an error message because I don't have this position relative class inside this login.scss so what you need to do is you just need to back to your app.scss at the top right here you need to import this extends.scss so here I'm going to say at the rate import in the single code you need to specify dot forward slash specify the SAS folder and then specify extends.scss specify semicolon save the changes as you can see I'm going to have the styling what I want I'm going to save this file save all my files just for that I'm going to back to my app.js and right here you can notice I'm going to have a class called login box I'm going to select that and specify some style to it as well so I'm going to back to my login.scss and as you know we have this login box inside this login ID so inside this SAS I can specify styling to this login box inside this login ID so just down here before this curly braces before this closing curly braces I can specify here dot and specify login box the class name and then I can specify styling to it so I'm going to just simply specify style max width I'm going to first specify the maximum width to this login box so I'm going to specify here 960 pixel this is my maximum width to this login box then I'm going to specify margin which is going to be 0 for the top and bottom and auto for the left and right and I save the changes I'm going to have the result something like this this will just center this login box just like that I'm going to specify box shadow box shadow is going to be 0 0 35 pixel and then I'm going to specify my RGB color with alpha so I'm going to specify here 0 0 0 for the red blue and green and for the alpha I'm going to specify 0 0.1 save this file this will just add some box shadow to this login box you can notice here just after that just down here I'm going to specify border radius border radius is going to be 10 pixel so this will just add some border radius to this box when I save the changes you can notice this will add some border radius to this login box that's upon you you can change these values as well just after that as you can notice inside your app.js we have the login form inside this login form we have the class called form section in the next lecture we're going to start styling this main login form